right, today we're talking about the iPhone X for vlogging. Can we use it? Yes, we can. Right now I have the iPhone X going on 4K. You might notice a little difference unless you don't have a 4K TV. We're recording this in 30 frames per second, which is kind of my go-to frame rate. Now, I'm not going to record everything in 4K because not everything does record in 4K on this. We'll get into those facts as well. We are using an external mic on this to get a little better audio for you guys. But don't worry, once we start vlogging, we're going to use just the mic on the camera. See how that does. See how it performs. All right, let's get into the spec stuff real quick. None of that techno babble you're not going to understand, but straight, easy, to the point. The camera on the iPhone is great. I don't know how else to say it, but it's great. Front facing, back facing, doesn't matter. 4K video, both of them. First thing, image stabilization. That is something you can only get usually on higher end cameras. Some of the lower ones have it, but the iPhone has it built right in. The iPhone X has dual optical image stabilization because it's got the two lenses going on at the same time. The short facts of that means your images aren't going to be all wobbly. They're not going to be shaking around. They're going to be perfect. You're going to hold that phone and it's going to keep it nice and shake. Not going to take out everything, but it's going to take out enough that your video is going to be clean, clear, and crisp. Next, iPhone X offers a wide angle lens. You may even notice that it seems pretty wide and this is no extra lens added on here. This is the actual camera itself doing this. The uh, iPhone 8 has a little bit more of a narrow lens. You can see that on some of my earlier vlogs. I'll throw some of those up there. while we're... But this has a nice wide angle lens. It is great. You don't have to add in any of those extra lenses that we have like the key lens. I'll put that down in the links if you want a really wide angle lens. And we'll actually do another video where we talk about just that. Trace water resistance. I'm going to put a video right up in here somewhere, maybe on this side, I don't know. But this video is going to show you our little trip to LA. I did this with the iPhone 8 Plus. Very similar. But the point of this video is the fact that I dropped it into the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, fell in the ocean, was in there for a good, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. No effects whatsoever. iPhone X has the exact same thing. You can drop this snake puppy right in the water, not going to have any issues. Number four. It remembers what settings you put when you save it. There is a mode, I'll show you this here in just a second on my screen capture, where you set it and it'll remember when you swipe over that you want the video first and not the photo camera. It remembers where you left it. That is great because if you're out vlogging, you want to swipe over, get that video going real fast, it's such a pain in the butt to have to swipe it back from photo to video and you miss the moment. So this is great. You swipe it over, it remembers where you were, leaves it right there awesome feature. Number five, the one that matters the most, no not really, but it's video grid. For those of you who want to have the grid on the screen, I'll show you that on the screen capture here in just a second, but that is perfect. It gives you that kind of reference. You want to have your main shot be in one of those lines. That's how you get those beautiful pictures. Alright, so we're going to set up our iPhone for vlogging. We're going to go down to the uh, settings, to the camera, and we're going to click on the camera. We'll go over and click on preserve settings and this is where you can turn on where it'll remember what your setting was and you go ahead and turn on camera mode and it'll stay where you leave it when you click out. Alright, we'll go ahead and back out of that. Then you want to turn on or off the grid if you want the grid on your uh, video while you're taking that. And then we'll go over to your HD settings. We're going to pick what you want to film at. Today we're going to film at a 4K. 30 frames per second, but my usual is uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second. And then down below, it kind of gives you an idea of how much room it's going to take and how it's going to look. You'll notice in the slow mo, you don't get 4K. Your best is uh, 1080p at 120 or uh, 1080p at 240, but that is only on uh, certain computers. It won't actually work on uh, most uh, players. In the format setting, you just want to put it on uh, most compatible unless you're using it only for an Apple computer. All right, now you got your iPhone all set up and ready, and we can go ahead and head out and vlog. All right, so let's get a little test of uh, the sound. I don't have my microphone hooked up to it anymore. It's just the iPhone recording right now. We got some traffic around us. You can hear everything. Also, let's check out the image stabilization. I'm using a handheld Joby Pod right now. I don't have links for all of that down below, but the image stabilization is great. But I have it on the rear facing camera right now facing me let's see what it does with the front facing camera also walking all right now we have the front facing camera going i have it on a joby pod also as well so this has also got the sound you can hear the cars all around us good example of how the sound looks and how wide the camera will be without any extra lenses on there whatsoever
right, so now we're in a little gazebo. It's shaded in here, and it's bright out here. This gives you a good kind of example of the contrast. I'm not able to tap on the screen because I'm using the back camera right now to focus. So just letting it do its own autofocus and letting it focus how it wants. So you can see, nice and bright, nice and shady. The great example of transition. So we're gonna pick this up, we're gonna walk out in the sun, we're gonna see how it transitions. You can see the change and how well it transitions. So this camera on this phone is actually very good. It does a very good job. All right, we're gonna use a front-facing camera for this little portion where we talk about the negativity, the bad. There's none. No, I'm just joking, there's a few of them. Uh, you don't have any lenses you can switch out. So, you know, doing this cool like grab and then like zoom into yourself, zoom back out, zoom into yourself. You can't do any of that, but I mean, I guess you can kind of do it like, oh, well, oh. it's on a front-facing camera, but you can like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out an option I suppose um, it's a little more distracting because you have to make sure you're looking at the camera um, and the camera on these are that little tiny dot right there around the other side of the lens so it's easy to be looking at yourself on the screen and not on there so that's something you just gotta kind of get over I don't know if that's really a negativity but that's a downside I suppose. so potential negative uh, there's no SD card so you got to plug it into your computer and pull your stuff off of it that way so I mean that's a little more of a challenge but not really I, honestly I'm having trouble finding negatives on it is a really good camera and it's really good for vlogging All right, let's try the zoom out we're gonna do this handheld with the Joby pod we're at two and a half times three and a half times six times and look at the stabilization on that I am hand holding that and it should be shaking all over even most cameras can't hold that stabilization like this can so I'm actually pretty impressed all right we're gonna zoom back out one time awesome well, there you have it. That's a quick down and dirty about vlogging with the iPhone X slash 10, however you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's X, but some people say 10, so who knows. Anyways, make sure you check out my other videos. I'll have those linked down below and here at the end card. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.